Hey guys, how's it going? Let's talk about Stravaganza. Turn it up, throw down your motherfucking door. Uh. Hey guys, how's it going? Otaku Mike here doing a manga first impressions video for you today. Today we're looking at Stravaganza, the Queen in the Iron Mask. So I have to say, I picked this up on the cover alone. Um, I didn't know much about this manga other than that it's a fantasy series. And it reminds me of Red Sonia or, say, like, Man in the Iron Mask or Conan the Barbarian um, and whatnot. So I picked this up on cover alone. Um... So, our story starts out in a forest. In this fancy world, um, we see a couple sprites playing around in the forest in, near a lake. Um, a young woman shows up, and she's just kind of, you know, going about her thing, you know. She finds, she, she lays on the ground, you know, getting ready to get into the pool. She finds these colorful, these colorful nuts. They're like rainbow nuts. And she, um, she collects them. She's like, ooh, I'm gonna make, the, make a necklace out of these. And she's like, yeah, let's do this. And suddenly she hears something. And she gets into the water and hides. And she finds that there's this new race of beasts that she has never seen before. These lizard men show up and they start messing with their nuts. And she's like, I've never seen these people, these, 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 this type of creature before. I've, I've, I don't know what language you're speaking. Then out of nowhere, this big, giant, hulking, I want to say ripoff, um, Dragon Ball Z, like, super monkey thing. Uh, they call it an Umbra. It's, it looks like the great ape from Dragon Ball Z, basically. Um, she, she, she hides. One of the lizard men gets killed by this giant beast. And she's hiding. She's like, oh, no, like, I got to get away. Like, and then the other lizard man is trying to get away. He sees her. And she's like, you got to get out of here. He's like, no, you got to get out of here. And he tries to help her. And for his good deed of the day, he gets killed by the Umbra. As we will, we will later know what it's called as an umbra. And it's in the water. And she notices that it's soaking wet. The water is weighing down the fur on this beast. And she's like, I think I can take it out, basically. Bam. She takes it out. Um, she feels sorry for this, this, um, this lizard man beast. That he is, he's dying in her arms. And this salamander looking thing comes up and eats him. And she like books it. She's like, Psh, I'm out of here. And goes, runs away. She loses her sword. And she goes back to the kingdom where she lives. And everybody's so happy. They're like, Claire, Claire, you're back. Yeah, where, where have you been? You know, we haven't seen you in a couple days. And she's like, oh, I've been around. I've been around. She tries to barter for this really cool sword made out of a dragon scale and a dagger that goes along with it. She only gets the she only gets the uh, scale the, the the dagger at this point. She, she's not able to afford the sword, and they're like, she's like, he's like, it's three thousand shillings, you know. And she's like, I'll give you two thousand. She kind of barters with him, and she like walks off, and you know everybody loves Claire. Claire is the best. Um, everybody seems to know Claire, but little do they know. Claire walks through a secret passage. It turns out, Claire is not Claire whatsoever. Claire is Queen Vivian. Yeah, Queen Vivian. The queen of this kingdom. Wow. What? Well, mind blown. Um, nobody knows that she is the queen because Queen Vivian, for her protection, always wears an iron mask so nobody knows what queen vivian looks like except for her inner circle of her 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 main bodyguard and her main basically house maid her servant know who queen vivian is and queen vivian likes to go out under this alias 
of Claire and be amongst the be amongst her subjects and that's what we get a lot of at first is we get to see her interaction with a lot of the subjects that live in her kingdom and, and their interactions with her and as she's she's learning more about the kingdom and whatnot. It's really interesting because she's 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 she seems to be she seems to be sort of a new queen. Um, we don't know what happened to the previous uh, people who reigned over the kingdom at, at this moment, but she seems to want to learn more about the kingdom as a whole and you know be integrated into the kingdom. You know so she can help people with their problems and whatnot as well as ruling over them and doing the best that she can as a ruler. Um, and then little do we find out that the Umbra one night come and attack the kingdom. They are forced to flee the kingdom. You know, they try to fight them off, but they, they cannot fight the Umbra off. Uh, Queen Vivian is forced to take her, um, uh, her subjects her loyal subjects basically take them away and try to figure out how to get their kingdom back from the Umbra. And that's really where we end off in this book is them trying to figure out how they are going to get back their kingdom. Spoilers. Take it out from the giants. <laughs> but this is a really fun, interesting series. The action scenes are like so amazing let's see if i can get some of the action scenes like here's some where they kill one of the umbras like the, the artwork in this is just so beautiful i am just so amazed by a lot of a lot of it it's just the artist did a wonderful wonderful job and one thing i really really like with the uh, artist is and, and the and the writer the manga basically is they're their story is not overbearing and doesn't info dump everything on you. It lets the artwork breathe and tell the story as it should. Um, and that's one thing I really, really feel that that works, especially in the action scenes, which are amazing. And surprisingly, this manga is really funny as well. Like, her interactions with the other people within the kingdom are hysterical. Um, and you know, in her interactions with, 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 um, her, her, the royal guards and whatnot, which the royal guards are pretty fucking badass, just saying. And, you know, in the different ways they have to take down the Umbra and whatnot. Um, which this, this manga was a lot of fun. I believe it's going to be a short series. I think it's like seven volumes, seven or eight volumes. So we're getting a couple, we're going to be getting a couple more of these omnibuses. This is actually a two in one. You get two for the price of one. Pretty awesome. It's actually very well made. I, I love how big it is. I love the artwork. It just just jumps, leaps off the page. It's uh, it's amazing. You know, it, it's 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 awesome. Um, but I can't recommend this to younger readers. There is um, adult material in this book. Um, I I basically fan service. <clears throat> So I cannot, I cannot recommend. There is some fan service in this book, and you know, but it, it, it it's fan service. It, it is what it is, and there are some violent moments when they are fighting the monsters of people dying and whatnot. So if if you don't like violence or a little bit of fan service, this book probably isn't for you. I had no qualms with this book. I really, really enjoyed it. I had nothing negative about this book. Um, I'm really interested to see where it goes from here. I'm really, really interested. Um, I recommend this book. Um, it's a fun read. It's a fantasy manga that has nothing to do with an isekai or being reincarnated. It's just a lot of fun. Um, go check it out. It's Stravaganzia, the woman, or the queen, and the Iron Mask. Sorry. Uh, I'm Otaku Mike. Thank you for watching. Um, Comment down below, are you guys going to pick this up? Um, have you heard of it? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know. Um, I think this book might be a sleeper hit. Um, it, it was a lot of fun. Just saying. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Comment. Ring the bell for all the notifications. I'm Otaku Mike.
Peace out.